Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're going to be talking about how to beat Reginald in Bot World Adventure. One thing to know before we start is that this is going to be the first arena master that you're going to be fighting. It's going to be a 1v1 duel. So you're going to end up putting down a bot, then Reginald is going to be putting down a bot. And every single bot that he puts out is going to essentially be a counter to your bot. So this is going to be very important. He is going to be using six different bots. He's going to end up using Slicer, which is a chaser, Froggy, an evader, Tether, a support, Scatter, a splasher, Longshot, a sniper, and lastly, Brute, who's going to be a brawler. Bots that I use to defeat Reginald is going to be Froggy, who is an evader, Thump, a tank, tether, a support, ram, a chaser, brute, a brawler, and then lastly, chainer, who's also a tank. Subscribe if you want to see more bot world adventure content. Now let's get right on into the video. Okay, so we start out the match by me putting down a froggy, and then the counter to froggy in his comp is going to be slicer. So slicer is actually pretty good against froggy, but froggy was able to dodge a lot of his attacks and gain the upper hand and actually beat the slicer. Now froggy did get to low health, but that's okay. And he ends up even beating the Brute. Now the Brute would have been a good choice to defeat this Froggy if he can get close enough. But Froggy is really good at just sort of shooting and moving around. So the Brute couldn't even get close enough to like really even land an attack. So for that reason, the Brute ended up dying. Now he does end up putting down a long shot, which did take out my Froggy. I tried to block it a couple times, but the long shot inevitably took out my Froggy. And because of that, you know, I had to put down another bot. So the bot that I chose was Brute. Now Brute is a good counter to any sniper and Brute all he really needs is just one hit for 1300 damage and he easily takes out the long shot. Now Scatter was able to get a few good hits when Brute was kind of far away so that was a good move on Reginald's part. Brute ended up getting just like one hit I think on the Scatter. Next I put down Tether. Now Tether is an interesting choice because Tether is really good for like team battles because he's a support and supports are just mainly there to make your other bots more efficient. He's okay in one-on-one -on -one battles, but like not the best. So this did end up getting down to the wire, as you guys can see. Um, he was ended up on low health, and it just took a couple shots from his other bot to take out my tether. So then I ended up putting down my thump, which is a tank, against the froggy. Now, thump is a really good brawler when he's up close he doesn't have the best attack but he does have the ability to stun his enemies like you just saw right there um froggy is able to sort of dance around my thump and thump is just punching the ground for some reason i don't know why he was doing that but maybe he was just super mad i don't know froggy ends up taking out the thump which is okay probably shouldn't have happened but then the next bot comes out which is a really good counter to froggy and that is a chaser and that chaser is going to be ram now ram is super fast he likes being up close to attack his enemies Froggy does try to dance around and keep trying to attack him, but Ram is just throwing him everywhere and ends up attacking him a lot, and Froggy can't even really do anything. So finally, he puts out the tether. Now, the Ram does get a few good hits in. Ram is, like, sort of low on health, so this isn't that good of a situation. I try to get a couple blocks in um, from the tether. Tether really isn't doing that much damage because Tether is a support. Um, so this is actually quite good for me because I end up getting him down pretty low. Just enough for my Chainer to finish him off. Again, Chainer is a tank. He's not the best at attacking. But what he is really good at is just taking any enemy from the arena and pulling him close to him. So that way he can attack them. So even if Tether does just sort of move around from Reginald's abilities and stuff, it's not going to make a difference because Chainer can just pull him in. And then there you have it. Battle one, I have one bot left and that was Chainer. And then at the end of it, guys, you end up getting a super chest, which is pretty cool. So I ended up getting 63 coins, an ult cooldown, splasher explosives, jet fuel, five of them, sputtering generator, 24 of them, 24 of those, 24 of those. And yeah, and then after that, once you talk to Reginald, he will be giving you um, a bot pack that you can use for the rest of your quests as you play bot world adventure and that's going to be it guys if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up follow for more bot world adventure content peace